Okay, he's not moving. So this is how I'm gonna start my um, debut back to YouTube with my puppy in my way. So, as you can probably tell, moved house. Not my old room anymore. I've got a whole house to film in now, sorry buddy. Um, got a puppy, got engaged. All the stuff happened when I started vlogging, which is fun. Sorry about the really bad like backlit situation here. Nowhere to really like put my phone up to like rest it on or anything. I am currently on my phone which you can probably tell because I'm hoping my camera is still at my parents' house. So I'm going to go past hopefully today and get it. A bit spontaneous of me. I didn't really decide this until this morning. I was actually speaking to my mum and I was like, I really miss vlogging. I really miss posting on YouTube, mainly for myself. Like I don't have a massive community, which is fine. Um, this is Harvey. He is a Labrador retriever. Kind of. We got him last year, like two months after moving in. Hello. He's six months um, and he is testing my patience. A dog hair everywhere. I literally never live with a dog, especially one that sheds so much. I mean, probably not as much as like other dogs, but you know. Things are happening. So I just thought I would, yeah, start back on and say hello. Sorry, I had to stop just then. Um, I don't want to be one of those people that just explains everything that I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm hoping to like have it continue for like a week or so, um, just depending on what happens. Probably going to be a bit mundane, um, but you know, new exciting things for my channel, I hope. Um, and yeah, let me know what you want to see from me. I literally haven't done like anything YouTube related since I stopped, obviously. So I'm excited. I'm getting my hair cut today. Please ignore the state of it as well. It should have been washed like two, at least two days ago. Um, I'm getting a big chop as well. I don't know what my t-shirt underneath here is doing. Um, so yeah, I'm excited because I got a big chop last year in like August um, and it's just grown so much and I'm actually sick of it. Like I have realized I'm not a long hair girly. I want just to, you know, have short hair forever. Good afternoon. It's now like 1 p.m. Had my lunch, did my makeup, did my hair to look a bit more presentable, got changed, all that. Um, I'm literally so excited to have my hair done. I was just doing it before. I'm like, oh my God, like I'm literally gonna get like a chunk chopped off. Like I'm really excited. When I go to the hairdresser, I don't like to play. I like to like, you know, have a drastic change. I never get my hair colored really either. Like the last time I did was like two years ago and it was those feral highlights that I got that um, I had to get re-dyed anyway, like three days later. So they're like finally like grown out basically from my hair. Um, last time I went to the hairdresser, actually, she's like, oh, that color's like nearly grown out. I was like, yes. Cause I went to like a different hairdresser when I got the highlights done. She's like, oh, um, and I'm like, oh my God, thank God. She's like, oh, you didn't like them. I was like, no, I was like, I'm very happy to see them go. Um, so yeah, I forgot what I was saying, but I just wanted to check in because I have like no storage space on my phone to be even recording this. So I'll see you guys a bit later. Okay, I <laughs> know you can't really see me, but I just stopped at my mum's to pick up this camera. Oh my God, it feels so weird to be using it again, but I'm on my way to get my hair done now. And I'm so excited. This is my new hair. I didn't go as short I was going to because like I still wanted to be able to do stuff with it. But I got these little like curtain bangs cut in. And then the length. That's it. I just love getting heaps chopped off. I'm going to go to the chemist now to pick up a few like makeup bits that I'm running out of. Then I'm going to go home and we're going to get Indian takeaway which I'm so excited about. I am back home now. Just got changed into some comfy trackies um, and I thought I would give you a tiny mini haul of what I got from the chemist on the way home. Like only one thing is new and exciting for me. But I just got a top up of my usual powder because Maybelline was having half price at Chemist Warehouse today. This was actually really good timing because my sponge on my Instant Age Rewind Concealer broke today. Um, but I always get uh, the... Oh, it doesn't even have the colour on the bottom anymore. It's zero 03. It's just for under my eyes. Um, I probably should have gotten like a skin colour one too, now that I think about it. But anyway, glad that I got that. And then the thing that I really wanted to try for ages was this 
Maybelline Instant Age. Oh, it's not even called Instant Age. Instant Anti Age. I didn't even know that. Instant Age Perfector 4 in 1 Glow. And I got it in the shade Medium because the light one looked too light, and I only really wear this stuff when I'm tan anyway, so I thought this would be a good thing to try. Harvey's doing something. Oh, he's on his bed. You know when you think like they're doing like the worst thing possible and they're just doing like they're just playing? Hello! Say hello! He literally goes mental after he's eaten it and I know that they're not like supposed to run around. So I try to like keep him calm. Um, in the morning he's really good because he just comes back and sleeps. Um, but in the afternoon he like gets really bad zoomies. So that's fun. Anyway, um, I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to come home now and then we're going to get Indian, like I said before. So that'll be fun. I'm starving. I'm probably going to have a snack. So, yeah. Oh, it's already made my bed, like, wet. Thanks. Yeah. Good morning. Um, it is Saturday. <laughs> it's the next day. I am about to take Harvey on a walk. He hates having his harness put on. He used to like love, so it takes like two of us. And then like when I'm by myself, I have to literally like lock him in the laundry and try to put it on him. Um, yeah, he hates it. I think it's like something going, going over his head. And I've tried with treats and stuff and he just hates it still. So hopefully he like stops doing that. He's basically walking out the door right now. We just got back from like a 40 minute walk, which was actually really good for like both of us. Okay, I just did some vacuuming um, and just made breakfast and a coffee. And it's now like 9.20ish. Um, breakfast doesn't look that appetizing. It's literally just scrambled eggs on thins, tomato sauce and a coffee. Normally we'd have like a coffee, Ooh. Um, takeaway coffee on like a Saturday. Yeah, Harry went to the gym and I stayed home, went, took Harvey for like a 40 minute walk. Um, I had my period, so I didn't really feel like going to the gym. Maybe I'll go tomorrow because I have to do the grocery shop anyway. And it's in like the shopping center. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat this because I'm starving, I need a coffee. shower excuse that we got like a new bed a few weeks ago um and that's like the old mattress thing so well like it doesn't have a mattress on it it'll go in the other spare room when it does um but i'm just gonna do some makeup do my hair i actually brought bought one of these like hot brushes um this is just a vs to soon one and i got it off amazon don't know if I love it. I only had it with like my other hair, like my longer hair. So I'm gonna try it with like my fringe today. And I'm gonna put it back with the hair bend and then go over it a bit later um, and do my makeup now. Okay, so I've already got sunscreen on um, and I'm just gonna put on some moisturizer now. This is the La Roche-Posay, I mean this one little travel size i'm really out of it and i really like it i got it in like a little set i think like last year i also love this even though it's like literally like plain water just like a bit of a um refreshing spritz i mean they're all thermal spring water i'm gonna wear my beauty blender and then i'll be back okay it just took me an embarrassing long time to take the plastic off oh my god like when you can get done they're like a whole nother layer um but yeah so let's actually finally try this. I don't know if I'm like too like washed out over there. Here it's a bit like short, so I kind of have to put you up there. Okay, so I'm starting to come out. So I'm actually just gonna apply it. Oh, it's actually really dark. Feels nice though. And I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. It's actually blending out really like nicely. And it's not like as dark as it looked when I first put it on. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It's a bit less like washed out, a bit too close for comfort. 
Um, but yeah, let's just blend the rest of this in. But that's what it looks like. It's like a base. Can you even like tell? My screen's cracked, so I can't tell either. Um, yeah. So I just do like a really minimal makeup anyway. This is like every day for work type of makeup, um, even though it's a Saturday. I have to do the same with the concealer. But I just pop a little bit of concealer. God, it's weird using like a fresh one. I was really like scraping it under my eyes when I was using my other one. And then I just blend that out as well. But yeah. And that just like kind of evens out everything or else it would just be dark like everywhere on my face. And then I'll go in with Mecca Max Off Duty Contour Stick in medium as well. Just kind of put it everywhere. I just want a bit more colour. My brush case. My brushes are filthy. I just use this Morphe. M439 like buffing brush. Sorry, my brush case is literally like right under the camera. I have two of the Morphe M439 brushes. Um, one for blush and one for like bronzing, contour type of stuff. Um, I switch between, I'll get to the puppy stuff in a sec. I switch between these two blushes, both by Mecca Max as well. Um, the lighter one is Pinch and the other one is Moody. I more like to use Moody like in the evening, like when I'm going out at night, and then pink during pinch during the day. And I'm running out. And I just like apply it basically everywhere on my cheeks, like that. And then yeah, I grab one of these brushes and just blend it all out. But yeah, so we got Harvey um, back in December and I'd never owned a puppy before. Like never in my family, we never had dogs, um, but I always wanted a dog. Like every time I would see one or go to like a friend's house, but like, oh my God, I wish I had a dog, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> I now understand why my mum kept saying no. Plus she doesn't really love animals. So like, not in like a hate animals way, but she like is scared of them, which is fair. Now that I see it and like I'm kind of like in my own house, I'm like don't really, don't mind. She's been pretty good with Harvey. Like now that he's gotten bigger, she's a bit more like, oh, you know, a bit more, get him away from me. Um, but he's like really good. All he does is like, he loves to just lick people or like lick other dogs. Like he's really friendly, but I know that like, you can't say that to people because dogs, any animal is unpredictable anyway and even though it's your dog and you think that you know it you never know so I don't use that like line um, but he is really friendly <laughs> but I like even when I go for walks I really try to like cross the street and stuff because I know he'll try to like go after other dogs or other people back to owning a dog um, yeah such a big responsibility literally like having a child even though I don't really know what that's like um, but I imagine it would be quite similar because yeah, in the first week I was home by myself um, and my boyfriend had dogs like basically all his life. So <laughs> he was like kind of the expert, not me. Um, but yeah, you know, like in the first week, I'm going to be honest, like I just like I cried every day when my boyfriend left for work. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do all day with this dog that like doesn't know me? I don't know him. Yeah, I just like, it was a really big shock to the system, especially in like a new house. Like we'd only been here for like two-ish months. Like, I don't know. It was just really, really difficult. Um, but like a month later when we could take him out for walks and stuff like that, it was pretty good. Um, and now, you know, I feel like we've bonded, love him. Um, and yeah, it like, it does get better. I had major puppy blues. I was literally Googling, is it normal? to like want to give your dog back when you first get it because uh, I can't do this but uh, I never was going to do that anyway mm. of course not um I am just taking the matte and poreless fit me powder and this fluffy brush and just setting my eyes because I'm not going to use any other powder products on my face maybe my t-zone 
a bit because I am a messy eater as well. So I always have to set, set it around my mouth just to be like extra careful. Oh, I didn't put lip balm on. So having Harvey has been a real like reality check for me. We're homebodies anyway, so we really love coming home to a puppy. Um, and yeah, it's just really nice. It feels like we're a family, but it was a very big change. But yeah, I just brush, oh, that's gonna be annoying. I just brush my eyebrows as best as can be. I literally never got my eyebrows done, you can probably tell. Um, yeah, I try to like maintain them myself, but I know that they look atrocious anyway. Yeah, what is next? I don't put mascara on on a daily basis either. It's only when I'm like, if I'm going out. Um, or yesterday when I got my hair cut because you know kind of essential when you get your hair cut you want to know that it's gonna look like good when you have makeup on oh yeah okay I'm gonna set my face I actually have been switching between the Charlotte Tilbury flawless airbrush spray thing and the Mecca max life proof makeup setting spray cheaper bigger like you know and like the reviews for this were really good because I was running out of this if you can see there's like only like a quarter of the bottle left um and yeah this stuff actually smells really nice as well so that's a plus so does the Charlotte Tilbury one of course but you know gotta save money these days and I love Mecca Max oh. and then I actually just go back in with my beauty blender and then I like set everything in place like all the powder and cream products especially when I like have powder bronze on and everything like that but I feel like this makes a big difference in everything staying on and then I literally just curl my eyelashes um but that like kind of makes a bit of a difference and like opens up the eye and that's all I do for like work as well that's a finished makeup and hair the day just to make me feel a bit more alive and like put it together now i don't know what i'm gonna do i think i'm just gonna go chill on the couch with harvey read some more fourth wing um because i've been enjoying that but i haven't really like read anything in the past few days so i'll do that and then probably make some lunch <sighs> i actually think that turned out quite nice definitely makes a difference having like shorter hair when you're using like those types of tools i probably should have done it on like the rest of my hair to make it look a bit more seamless um but oh well <laughs> i'll catch you guys later good morning it is now sunday and um i did the grocery shopping it is like nearly i think it's like 11 30 ish right now went to the grocery shopping meal prep like just finished that um put the dishwasher on got clothes off the line and now i'm gonna put all my clothes away reset kind of make the bedroom a bit more clean um and yeah tomorrow's already monday and i'm not excited about it didn't go to the gym again today <laughs> my period's really getting me down like i just sometimes when i'm on my period i'll go to the gym it really depends what mood i'm in i just really could not be bothered this morning but harry and harvey are both asleep in the lounge room right now which is actually good for me because at least harvey's like kind of out of my way while i try to clean um yeah i just thought i'd end the vlog here just because it's already quite long caught you up on everything kind of like a bit of a reintroduction to my channel and i really hope that i will be posting a bit more often um and keep on track just because i like doing it I don't i really have any ideas for my next video but hopefully i will come up with one <laughs> um but yeah we'll see i hope to see you in my next video bye